Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to fix the API MS Win CRT runtime error. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so maybe you're running a program or trying to run a program and you're coming up with that dreaded error message at the beginning saying API MS Win CRT runtime error and it says you need to fix it before you can run the program. So I'm going to go through and show you exactly how to do it and some of the steps that I personally take to resolve this problem. Now you can find this problem in certain applications like Adobe Premiere, uh, also in other sort of applications which use various runtimes. Now runtimes generally tend to be DLL programs or dynamic linked libraries and when the program is installed it links itself to a part of the Windows operating system, i.e. linking that library. So if for some reason that program or file is damaged or corrupted, then you need to repair it and it's not always easy to find. So let's go through to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing to do is to check the simple one, make sure you've got all your Windows updates up to date. So on the start menu, click on settings, go into updating security and click on check for updates. Now Windows will check for updates and if there's anything which is available or needs updating, you'll be notified in this window. If there are any, go ahead and do them. If there isn't any, then we can move on to the next step. So in this particular instance, we've got no updates, we're all up to date, so fantastic news. So the next one to do is to check that our file system is all A-OK. -okay. In order to do that, just type in the search bar, type in CMD for command, and right click on the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Then you'll have the user account control, so click yes to that and then we should get our elevated command prompt or administrator command prompt. So what you need to do is type in sfc.exe space forward slash scan now and hit enter. Now this particular part is gonna check Windows system files for any violations or integrity issues and this will take a little while so let us go ahead, I'll fast forward through the footage and then we'll come back at the very end. Okay, so we've run System File Checker and we haven't found any integrity problems or no problems at all, all looking fine. So now we can go ahead and step on to the next bit. Now, if you have any problems, then Windows will try to attempt to repair those and you can follow those instructions. If you want more details about the sfc.exe slash scan now feature, then I'll put some links in the description below so you can get some more details on it. Okay, so now we're gonna get on to the most important bit. So this is gonna be reinstalling the Microsoft Visual Basic redistributables. Now, these are the dynamic link files which go through the system and link to all these other files. So let's go to the computer again and I'll show you where to get it from. So I've created a shortcut on my uh, Chrome browser. So I'll just click on there, go to last, or sorry, the latest supported visual C++ downloads. And you can see the string there again, that will be in the video description. So you can click on that straight away and it'll take you to this site here. So this is the latest supported visual C++ downloads, and you've got three main file groups here. So you've got the 32-bit version, which is the uh, x86, you've got the 64-bit version, x64, and you've got the ARM variant. So if you're using an ARM processor, then this is the one you wanna use. But for most of us, the Windows users, I think it's gonna be, these are gonna be the two popular ones. So if you're not sure which one you need, you can download both of them, you can install both of them, it's not a problem at all. Um, that is probably the safest bet. So we'll go for the 32-bit version first of all, so we'll save that to the desktop. And the same with the 64-bit version. That is done, so we can minimize this window. And now we've got our files on the desktop. Now obviously you can save them wherever you want, but just for me, the desktop is a little bit easier for this particular purpose. So let's try the 32-bit one first of all. And you have to agree to the terms and conditions and then hit install. And this will go through the setup process. Now, as you can see, it's Visual C++ for 2015 to 2019 edition. So it's all those versions should be absolutely fine. And it says now you must restart your computer for you can use the software. So at this point, we're gonna click on restart and then we'll come back in and then we'll do the 64-bit version. Okay, so our system is rebooted. So now we can go ahead and do the 64-bit version. So double click. Now you may find this because some of you already have it installed or partially installed, you get the option to repair or you've got the option to uninstall. So you can choose whichever here really. Uh, uninstall, you can do that, no problem at all. So click uninstall, it will remove it all, you reboot the computer, then you can go ahead back into the file and reinstall. That should do the trick. 
or alternately you can just click on repair which hopefully uh, everything should be a-okay but we'll try to repair and see what's going on so your setup's been successful when it says you must restart your computer before you can use the software so the best thing to do now is to restart the computer and then you can try and use your program and hopefully it should be all okay Okay, so there's a few tips and tricks on how to uh, restore corrupted files within the C++ runtimes. This one specifically, I guess, is more for the API MS Win CRT runtime, uh, but it will pretty much run with most DLL runtime errors that you're facing. So hopefully that's cleared it up for you. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.